Why howdy and welcome. Today on the workbench we have this Timex T308S radio alarm clock from about the year 2010. I'm really not sure of its age. I'm unable to find any documentation to confirm that. I come up with the year 2010 because that's what Amazon shows for first time appearing on their site. As you know, a few months ago I displayed another Timex radio which was rather impressive. Well, it come upon a, a need to replace my current alarm clock radio which is a 1990s Radio Shack. Nothing wrong with it. It works just fine. It just it has a larger footprint and thought of downscaling. So this is where this came in. This radio is pretty impressive for what it is. It offers daylight savings. It has 18 programmable channels, two bands for FM, one band for AM. It does support daylight savings time. And what's neat about this one is you could toggle that on and off. Unlike the last one I reviewed, it was constantly on. On the front here, we see a really nice big display. And that is pretty easy to see from across the room, at least the time. We have the date, which is incorrect. I need to change that. It offers two alarm settings and each alarm you could set up to play or to go off seven days a week, a Monday through Friday or a Saturday to Sunday. This alarm you could only have the AM or FM radio and on this one you could have a buzzard or nature sounds. Here we have the control to toggle the light on and off. It has a high, medium and low. We have an enter button and the off button. Here we have our navigation keys which will scan the bands up and down. It will also allow you to adjust the clock up and down. Now as far as the clock is concerned it scans through the minutes to the hours. There's no adjusting the hours and minutes separately. On this side we just have the volume control up and down. That side is empty and on the back here we have our zone so you could adjust your time zone, our date adjust button, our time adjust button, and our sleep volume button. I really don't know why that's on here because you could, yes, adjust the uh, sleep volume with this, a high, medium, and low, but at the same return, while you have that activated, you can also control it through here. So you put it on high on that one, adjust this down low. I, I really don't understand why you needed that, but it's there. This radio also offers sleep controls from 90 through 15 minutes. And here we could see the uh, sleep volume. Let's go ahead and turn this on and listen what it does. The uh, power on button is the same as the sleep function button. So you hit it once to power it on and it tells you that it's on. Toggles back to the time. And then here we have digital frequency. I'm currently on AM radio and this little flashing emblem tells you that I have no batteries in the uh, radio. Now in case of power loss, your alarm clock will still work, but it will only offer a buzzer and no radio, no chimes or uh, nature sounds, only buzzer. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume. Like I said, we're on AM radio. You sound like you could use some caffeine, Austin. You sound a little laid back. Like, what, what, what? <laughs> Daddy, how often? You must be peeing all the time, dude. It's really not a, a bad reception radio. I have heard better. I've had heard worse. And speaking of volume, this does around 90 decibels. Toda la noche. Yo me imagino que eso también ha de ser terrible, ¿no? Claro, lo que repito es, es el tiempo, no es el sí, el, el problema de aquí es que cuando uno le da el biberón de manzana, o recuerda, todo alimento... El Continuing with a uh, quick scan of the band, it does have search and it does have seek. One thing I did notice is on stronger radio stations. It does bleed over uh, a little bit on the left and on the right of the spectrum. So, I mean, with that said, it, it, it's not bad reception otherwise. I haven't listened to this at nighttime. I don't know how good it is for DX, but 
during my test here at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon with all my computer gear and radio gear, electronics gear, it doesn't do too bad. On ESPN. Sometimes a light. Let's go ahead and check out the FM radio. And by doing that, we hit this band button right here. As far as tone quality, it, it, it don't sound too bad. You have no bass or treble control. I forgot to uh, follow up with my uh, tour of the, the body of the radio. On the back here we have this pigtail of a wire and underneath we have the slot for the two AAA batteries and here's a little piezo speaker for the buzzard alarm. In an upcoming video, I plan on modifying this radio by adding a FM antenna terminal right about here. And I'll remove this wire antenna completely, use some of the wire for the modification internally. So make sure you stick around for that video. Let's go ahead and check out the illumination of the LCD display. I find it to be a little too dim, so we might do a modification to that. We'll, when we open it up, we'll see. Now I have all my studio lights turned off and I've adjusted my camera to represent as close as I could what I'm seeing in real life versus what the camera is picking up as far as the brightness of that display. And that's pretty doggone close. Here we have it on the high setting. That's the medium setting. As you can see, not very bright. And that is the low setting. Well, you could just barely see it there in about the center of your screen. And in real life, it is pretty dim. I wouldn't trust that from across the floor. That would be something on the nightstand and hopefully with a bloodshot eye you would be able to make that out. It would be rather challenging. On the bottom of the radio we have a cloth covered grill that covers up one speaker and that's a pretty loud speaker. Up top here the uh, buttons. We have our mode button toggles between AM, FM, FM and the nature sounds. It also doubles as your daylight savings button. Then we have the three programmable buttons over there, three programmable buttons here, and this is our power button and sleep button and our display. To adjust the date and time, calendar, and all that good stuff is pretty easy, pretty straightforward, unless you read the owner's manual. The owner's manual, you'll need, I don't know, six engineering degrees. It's crazy messed up. I will include a link to it in the description below which will take you over to my website where that document is hosted. To adjust the time you'll hold the time set button in. After about five seconds the screen will start to flash and then with your navigation keys you adjust the clock accordingly. and if you hold it down long enough it'll go fast. Once you've selected the time you want you could just simply release and wait a few seconds and it'll uh, go ahead and enter that in as the time. Another way is to just simply hit the button, the enter button on top and that'll do the same. Adjusting the calendar and the other controls are pretty much the same way as far as programming a radio station Turn the radio on, find the FM radio station of desire, and when you find the channel of desire, just simply hold the memory channel in and it will beep. Now that is programmed, and then you simply move on to your next one and repeat the same steps. Well, that's pretty much it on the Timex T308 radio alarm clock. As stated, I have another video coming up that will tear this apart and do a few body modifications, and that should be fun and exciting. We'll also take a peek at the inside to see, uh, see the guts. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. 
Until then.